two. All right, here we are. <laughs> Eric, the audience is misbehaving. Can you get him out of control, please? Hey, you guys, stop it. Okay, thank you. Oh, they're thank so you. good. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome so much. So, sorry, we had a, just a slight late start there. Eric was... Um, Shut uh, up. Eric was working on his roof. Uh-huh. <laughs> he, was, he was putting new shingles on his roof. I was pretty... Ooh. Um, that sounds like I was doing something really productive. That that actually that would be a you were being productive, right? Do you want to know what I was actually doing? What were you doing? I was flipping the channels from Friends to Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. You were just going back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had another forty five minutes. Oh, you were oh. on like uh, in a different time zone. No, <laughs> yep, I, I guess I was. <laughs> so today we actually we went from noon. Usually we we, we started doing noon and then we switched it to one. Um, but Eric and, and the maths and the numbers, I know one is, I was never good at geography. I'm sorry. One and two are very similar. So, um, they're right next to it happens. It happens. Um, well you guys, we are the bad boys of pop. I'm Tommy Mack. And my name is Eric stretch. Welcome to the bad boys of pop. Welcome to the Thursday grab bag. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to just go live quickly on my um on my little facebook here and just flip it around uh so folks know that we're live and so people can hop into the chat and say what up they can say what up ask some questions and how do i turn this around i don't want the camera facing me i want to flip it oh okay there we go wait you can't see me can you no good Uh, oh you know i can see your little um (laughs) My my ten year old self. Yeah, there it is. Wearing that's so that if folks that uh, don't know, that's what we were talking about in a, in a in a prior episode was that little outfit that he has on there. It's, it's very it's very, it's adorable actually. Yeah, I've been I'm finding myself talking about it more and more often these days, which is very bizarre. Well, talking so, about talking about this particular outfit here. Yeah, this particular somebody asked me like when how I first started into the entertainment industry and then mm-hmm. I told them about, you know, how I got into dance class at a young age and then I talked about this costume. <laughs> it's a pretty fantastic uh costume, I got to say. It, well, I'm rock, I'm rocking a mullet and yeah. I got garter belts on my Wait, arm. Is, is you have a mullet there? Hold on, let me get a little I, closer. I do have a mullet. I have the 90s uh Zachary Bryant, Z- Zachary Ty Bryant, the Zachary the, Ty Bryant, the Brad, the Brad. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh man. Okay, so I'm just I, I just did a I'm doing a quick little live. Uh, hey, what up, Kenny? How y'all doing? Hey, Kenny, y'all, y'all, um, y'all. So I am gonna turn this Facebook live off. Maybe one of these days I'll just let it run the whole time. I don't know. That, I think that would be more fun if we were both here. If it's just me here, it feels kind of weird. Um, yeah. So, so I, I'll, for, take that. I'll for, take that for anyone that's listening to this or that sees this go to uh the bebop.com that's t-h-e-b-b-o-p.com we are there live right now so come on in uh hop in the chat ask us questions i think you do have to create a screen name but it's you know whatever just create a screen name come in and 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 fire away bring on questions bring on funny stories comments and we'll see you there okay uh, I'm turning this live off and coming back to the podcast. Jeremy, how you doing? Hop on over to the BBOP.com. Like I just said, we'll see you guys there. Okay. Bye. Micro machines. Bye, little, little. Okay. All right. So what I was thinking for this episode, Eric, if, if you're okay with it, I don't know. Um, I was thinking that we, <laughs> I was going to say something really off the wall, um, oh, and really outrageous, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do that. At least not, not yet. It's too early for that. Um, so I was thinking we could tell a few fun little stories from tour. Um, maybe talk about some interesting things that we've heard 
uh, this week or funny things that we've heard. Um, and and just just a general catch up because you and I actually haven't really caught up um, since Monday. I mean, we talked briefly, but um, just a little catch up, a little a little catch ke- up, if you will. Catch up, a little sure. Catch up, yeah. and then and then we'll see who hops in the chat uh, if anyone's there. I don't know if the chat's broken or what. Like the first time we did it, it was on fire, and the second time it was working pretty well. Uh, but then a couple of people can get in, and then last time there was no one. And now I don't see anyone. It says feels lonely in here. Be the first to send a message. I'm going to send a message. I'm going to be like, hey, guys. Welcome, y'all. Welcome, y'all. There it is. Okay. All right. So maybe that'll get the ball rolling. We'll see. I don't know. If not, well, (laughs) too bad. All right. So I heard something funny. um, (laughs) And you probably heard some of these, too. Um, Clearly, there are probably going to be a lot of children born. Right, nine months from uh huh. The time. baby, the the baby boomers. Would you call them the the viruses, the virus babies? I didn't know. Heavens no. I, didn't, <laughs> I, I never said that. Why would no? I don't know the corona. The corona. What you the, call the them? coronites? The coronites. There it is. The uh, virus. Babies. But I heard one that I thought was a lot funnier. And tell me what you think about this one. The children of the corn. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious that was my favorite that's a good one and i think i think adam wiley would really like that one too because he, he was sure in, would he was in children of the corn five five v children of the corn v, v. um children of the corn virus Ooh, no? Ooh. look at that mystery Ooh, oh. mysteries serendipitous had, had, well <laughs> serendipity usually this is like a seems like well, I want to say it's like a feel good thing, uh-huh. but I don't. Maybe it's not. Maybe in my mind I just always thought serendipity just sounded like a, a feel good kind of word. Because well, it sounds like yippity. It sounds like it. yippity and zippity doo da. It sounds like you know. It just sounds exciting. Happy. It sounds like happy, happy fun times. Um, speaking speaking of happy, happy fun times. There was one time on tour where Danny was not having a happy, happy fun time. No, not, I think it was it was almost <laughs> every single night on tour. So, so we had. So let me describe the tour bus for anyone who hasn't who has never been on um, one of these buses. They're generally usually built um, in the same style. Sometimes you can change up the the um, the way the setup is inside. Uh, I know some people have a like 98 degrees had a studio set up uh, in one in one of their buses and and you know some people have like a jacuzzi or have you know like crazy things but ours was pretty simple you walk in obviously there's the driver he's got his whole front little area there um and then you walk through a little curtain and there's the front lounge you have a TV you got your DVD player your or VHS or whatever it was um or both I think we had I think we were fancy I think we had both we had a satellite that worked sometimes. So um, barely. <laughs> uh, the microwave, the kitchenette, that whole thing, and then the bathroom. And there was a shower, but we don't – I don't think – we never used that shower, did we? Well, we were a bunch of teenage boys. Why would we shower? Well, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's not the reasoning that I was looking for there. But, hey, that's actually pretty funny. All right. So, okay. um, so – so yeah, there's the shower there. I, I don't think we used it. I think we didn't use it because of the, it was a water situation or something. Uh-huh. It, well, yeah, <laughs> and we weren't we were in the bus for long enough for where we all had to shower. We actually did go to hotels from, yeah. So we did have a hotel room before the show, so we did have a chance to shower. Usually, uh, otherwise, you know, we had. Uh, it, I mean, it was kind of like kind of like you know the days of the quarantine where it's like, <laughs> did I shower yet this week? Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I had one a couple days ago. Anyway, um, then you go through a door. There's an actual door there, and you're in a hallway with twelve beds. So you have uh, three to your right, three to your left, and you go there. Are cl- closets. There's closets. Yeah. And then I think the AC control was right there too, because I remember sometimes I would just bump that, crank that thing up whenever we got hot. Um, yeah. And then three more on either side. And then the back door that would open and close. So you could make it pitch black in there, right? I mean, it was pretty amazing. And in the back, you would have the lounge. And the lounge was just like this big, if I recall correctly, it was like a U-shaped couch, basically. 
um, mm-hmm. with a cooler on the right side or yeah, I think it was the right side. And, and then the entertainment system was up there, the TV and we played video games, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it got extremely dark. And but you're, whole- but you're not, what you're not saying though, which I think is really important is that, um, each bed was the same diameter as a coffin. No, I didn't say that. I did not say that. Um, yeah, I know you love to tell that morbid I like, story because I because I think it's because when I, because somebody I don't you don't remember this but I remember this that somebody said oh yes it's, it's like it's like the same diameter as a coffin and I was like that's freaking terrible and then you'd get in there and I'd have like a moment of like this is this is really freaky and then but then all of a sudden it was the most comfortable mm-hmm. and cozy situation ever. The, yeah, it's the same dimensions as a coffin. Um, but you could pull the curtain and get out. Yes, you can. And you were not dead. So. And and you weren't dead. And, so. and you were alive. And you weren't buried alive, alive. either. No, which would be, that's one of my, I think, the most terrifying things I can possibly think of. Um, oh, totally. So anyway, anyway, Danny Danny slept. So I slept on the back left top. Um, and then I had my gear on the next, on the bottom bunk, I think. Did I take uh-huh. all three of those? No, we all had no. I was on the top bunk on uh, the right side. No, and, and the, oh, you were in the right because Danny was in the right back top. He was across. He was directly across from me when this happened. Oh, and then I and then I was under Danny. I was on the right side. Was I under Danny? And he might have been under Danny, and then Ricky, yeah. I think, was up in under front he... right. No, I think it was front right, and Star was over front left middle. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, Danny was across from me directly <laughs> on the top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> one night we're laying there and, and we had all gone to bed, right? No one was up straggling, talking to the driver, whatever. No one, everyone was in bed. <clears throat> um, <laughs> oh, and, oh, and Tony, Tony would usually sleep in the back. Our bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah. He was a, he was a, uh, he was bigger than us. And yeah, our sec- our security man. Yeah, he would he would he would sleep in the back. Um, generally. Anyway, I'm gonna get back get back get back to this story. So Danny's in the top bunk, directly across from me. When I, I'm I'm laying there, and all of a sudden I hear I hear Danny say, "Someone, someone, help, help me, someone, 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 S- someone, someone." <laughs> and, and at this point, I, I'm now waking up like. Looking at, and I'm just like looking around. I saw my curtain pulled, and I hear someone. And I think Eric, you'd probably started to kind of come back away. I, I, I think so. I was like, "What? What's Who?" Happening? And and Who? then and then almost it's like someone, someone. Doom, 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 doom. And we're like, oh, <laughs> "What? What happened?" And by the way, the, the the van or the the bus was still moving. Oh yeah, yeah. We were still Which driving. We we're still on the way to the next. So. City. But okay, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, um, so he stopped saying "someone, someone." <laughs> there was there were a, a a handful of bangs and then a thump. So we oh, pull, we pulled back our things. We turn on the light. We look down. Danny's sitting on the floor in the, ha- the down in the middle of the hallway, just in a daze. <laughs> <laughs> and he, okay, so what we're, what we're trying to explain here is that he fell off of a three-story bunk bed, and well, all the three, way- three stories, three not like three story. stories, but yeah, three yeah, three stories high bunk bed style. Three stories high bunk bed style. Oh, and he was having a night terror, and we were all convinced <laughs> somebody came into the bus and was like coming in there, and then poor Danny, someone. We, yeah, we thought something was going on. Like we thought, but he was having a he was having a nightmare, and he was asking for help from someone. And then he just falls. He just plunges down to the floor, and we're looking down at him. And I remember, I remember the dazed look on his face. I, I think he was in shock. Well, I think he was still sleeping, or or perhaps still asleep. Maybe it's hard. I mean, but he had that gl- kind of glazed over look in his eye, like. And I remember we, we we had to help him get up and get back in bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, little Dano, that was hel- someone, someone, help, someone, someone. Dum, do, do, dum, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even he didn't even like like go <gasps> or scream or cry or anything when he hit the ground. It was. 